Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike. My name is Mike. As mentioned in last week's video, which thank you for the response on that, I designated that April is book movie adaptation month. And for today's video, we are discussing my 90 year old boyfriend from biology class, which is also known as Twilight. This is going to be a ride. Also, I just made live the Planet M Studios Instagram account. What's Planet M Studios, you ask? Hmm, did someone say apparel? Did someone say merch? I don't know, maybe. So, go. yes, I did say that. Okay, grill bosses. So the movie starts and wow, just straight off the bat, so much blue. I'm smacked in the face by the blue. It's illegal, it's obscene. We meet Bella. She's all, I'm in Arizona. So yeah, she's monologuing and she's telling the girls, us, that she's moving in with her dad and her dad lives in the cutlery drawer. Her dad lives in Forks. The town is called Forks, F-O-R-K-S. I was about to drag Miss Author Stephanie for coming up with a town named after the plural of a kitchen utensil. And then I Googled it and found out that Forks is an actual town. So anyway, in the town of plural kitchen utensil, we meet Bella's dad and his name is Charlie. Charlie and Bella. Charlie's main personality trait is that he has a moustache, okay? He's giving Luigi, it's giving Haunted Mansion, it's giving this edit of me. And Charlie's bringing Bella into the town. She's all like, my dad lives in a small town and like, I don't wanna share a bathroom. Bella, shut up challenge. It is now time to meet some new characters. We meet Billy Ray. He is in a wheelchair and he is the father of Shark Boy. If you think about it, it kind of adds up. Turns out Bella and Jacob used to be gal pals back in the day. Next thing you know, Bella is picking up her blue bag. She gets in her blue truck and goes to Blue High School. She arrives at Blue School in her old school Chevy 7 tray, Dunky Dunk. Shout out to Pitbull. And people are dissing her for her having like this big, Juicy Caboose car. At this point in the movie, we get a whole bunch of like school scenes. Ugh. She's playing volleyball and she sucks. Like she, oh my God, she's so bad. She's not even trying, okay? Maybe she did deserve some of the bullying. The besticle Bella is starting to make friends. We meet, what's his name? I've completely forgotten him. He's so, he could not be more irrelevant. Mike is his name? That's my name, be original. She makes friends with Mike and Jessica and Jessica is like, kind of like her BFF. And she's played by Anna Kendrick. Bitch, tell me how I forgot that. Dum 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 dum. I took around and sat around the hell. Continuing with the school scenes, the squad is having lunch in the cafeteria. It's getting weird. Bella looks out the window and the most ethereal elven girl bosses that you've ever seen walk past the window and she's old. <laughs> Let me move my bank so I can see them again. Who is that? And her BFF is like, they're at the plastics. One time she punched me in the face. It was awesome. These individuals are the Cullens. The Cullens. I'm a vampire and my last name is Cullen. They are all so fucking old. Play them one hyper pop song and they're in the grave. Why are you in high school? So there's like Rosalie and Emmett and then Jasper and Alice. My name is an Alice. My name is Alice. She came in and she had the yeah, she's the best. The rest can choke. So Bella sees Edward walk in and she's all. Who's he? Oh my God, he's so attractive. This next scene is so funny to me because she walked into biology class and she stands in front of this big ass fucking fan, right? And it blows her scent to Edward who's sitting like in one of the benches, sends that BO towards him. He's like, oh my God. God, you smell like a bin. So stinky, stinky, rubbish bin stink girl goes and sits next to Edward because that's the only available spot. And he's just like, you are obscene. I can't handle this. You smell so bad. But at the same time, he's like really staring at her. He's like, Ugh. and she's like, there's so much staring already. What's that about? Anyway, now we're back at home and Bella's on the phone to mommy. Literally the first thing that her mum asks her about her new school. Babes, are there any cute boys there? I can't. Get out. This is Wattpad fanfic. It's Wattpad fanfic. Stephanie went to Wattpad and she control C and control V onto Microsoft Word and then sent it to the publisher and she was like, Take it. Anyway, it's the next day. Bella's at school in the car park. She spends so much time in the car park and she's saying, I'm going to confront him and I'm going to be like, why do you think I'm stinky, stinky body odor, no wash stink girl? And the Cullens pull up in a Jeep and Emmett is standing. Like he pulls up standing in the Jeep. What was the fucking reason? Sit down. Sit 
down. Put a seatbelt on. Put your seatbelt on. Psh, yellow. Eddie doesn't turn up and she's like, ugh. That moment when Bessie doesn't turn up for school. After a few days of no Eddie Bestie, Miss Girlboss turns up and he's all talky talky, right? They're in biology class and they're looking at fucking onions or some shit. Why are they flirting? He's 400 years old or some shit. He's basically a fucking dinosaur. He's basically Cretaceous. Next thing you know, Bella is once again in the car park. The guy who roasted her car is like spinning out of control in the car park. And then he's about to squish her. And then the besticle dinosaur Edward turns up and stops the car. It's absolute fucking scenes. Everyone's like, oh my God. After nearly dying in the car park, Bella's at the hospital and her doctor comes in and who is it other than chief doctor daddy mr cullen edward is also at the hospital and she catches up with him and she's like hey bestie what the fuck was all that how did you stop the car and he just like gaslight boots the house also that guy that i keep forgetting about mike he asks bella out to prom and she's like you're ugly you're disgusting i'm gonna kill you give me 200 dollars." now everyone is on some Oh my god, this is so... Everyone's now on a field trip. Where are they going? To a fucking plant shed. They go to the plant shed and that's it. Here's a fun quote from the movie. If you were smart, you'd stay away from me. Sir, you are so old. Are you not bored? How many times have you been to high school? Bella says that she's like 16 and then it comes out that the Cullens have been at the high school for four years. Is no one at the school asking questions? Now we meet the villains and they're like intimidating some guy in a boat, okay? There's three of them and one of them turns up without a shirt. Everyone else in the movie is like, oh my God, it's so cold in the kitchen utensil drawer. And he's like, I'm actually allergic to cotton also here are my abs. It turns out they're being K-wording left, right and center and everyone keeps blaming it on the beasts. Eddie tells Bestie Bella that he can read minds and he can't read hers because she's built different. They're having dinner or some shit and they keep flirting. Also, Bella touches Edward's hand and he's like, glacial. Wrist frio. Anyway, so Bella does some Googling and she's like, wait, Edward is like low-key K-wording all these people around the town, but also he's still really good looking. So what now? She confronts him and she's like, are you a vampire, yes or no? And he's like, wait, you kind of worked this out when no one else could work it out. He admits to being 17 for a really long time. And she's like, hi, sir. And then he says, I also drink blood. And she's like, I pretend I do not see. Ha <laughs> ha, eh. So he goes in the sunlight. He also undoes his shirt just for dramatic effect, just to remind her that he has abs in case she forgot. And it turns out he's a shiny diamond girl boss. This is where I start getting a little bit frustrated with the movie. She just found out that he is a vampire, let alone she literally just found out that vampires are are real and she's all like you are beautiful james blunt tease i'm not even joking he literally says i wanted to kill you and she's like omg Ugh. are we about to kiss right now i guess she's like proud that she's got that good good juicy blood also it turns out that edward is not actually 17 trillion years old he was dewording from the flu in 1918 and then the doctor zaddy mr cullen was like <laughs> and turn him into the diamond girl boss. Edward also tells Bella that his family all have superpowers as if they weren't powerful enough already, whatever. The absolute fucking pick me energy of it all. So like he can read people's minds and Alice can see the future. Sis, hydrate the sponge. Bella goes to the Cullen house and they kind of ate it up. Like the decor is giving. They go to Edward's room and it turns out he doesn't have a bed because he doesn't sleep. And honestly, I love that for him. Good for him. Later on, Bella is on the phone to her momager again. And Edward just like appears in her room and she's like, wait, you kind of ate that up. Also, do you do that a lot? And he was like, yeah, I've kind of been jumping into your room at night, like for the last couple of months. And she's like, that's hot. Like, sorry. That's weird as fuck. Just quirky home invasion vibes. Ugh. Next up, the baseball scene. I'm not even joking when I say this is peak cinema. This scene deserves literally every possible award. Favorite scene in the movie. Alice has a vision that the bad vampires are about to turn up and they do. The bad vampires are just like kind of a little bit sad and mad because the Collins didn't invite them to play baseball and they love playing baseball. Also, they're not wearing shoes and it's very offensive to me. It's raining, it's thunderstorming, there's water on the ground. They have wet grassy barefoot. If I saw a grassy wet barefoot in the cinema in 2008, I would have walked out. Their names are Laurent, Victoria, and James, and they want Bella's blood. One of the vampires, the one that's allergic to cotton and has abs, 
he wants her blood so bad, like he's just not gonna give up. Like it's kind of like clingy. So Edward's like, we need to leave. If she wasn't obsessed with the geriatric diamond man, this could have all been avoided. So the Cullen clan are getting ready to K word James and save Bella. And Rosalie's just kind of like, what the fuck? Like why the fuck do I have to give a shit about this random human girl? Ew, ew, human, ew, gross. And her family's like, no, nah, she's one of us now. You met her yesterday. I don't think it's that serious. Alice and Bella and the one who doth not blink get in the car and they drive to Arizona. And then Alice has a vision of James working out that they're going to Arizona. So he starts going to Arizona too. To be honest, from here, it felt like I was watching a new movie. Like I genuinely did not remember any of this. The girls are fighting in the dance studio. Lots of smashing. Boom crash, the sound of my heart. Stream unlock it. So James is like recording Bella in pain. It's very weird. And he breaks her leg, just like, eh. and she's like, ah. and then guess who turns up? The geriatric diamond man. James still doesn't have shoes on. It's probably why he lost. Alice rips his head off. In the kerfuffle, James bites Bella and she starts turning into a vampire. She's like, ooh, I feel a calm and bury your bell. And it turns out the only way to stop her from turning into a vampire is for Edward to suck the venom out of her blood. So he gets to work and he's like, suck in. And he's like, mmm, delicious. And he's like, wait, I can't stop. But then it turns out he does stop. And isn't that just lovely? It's the power of love. Or some shit, I don't know. That's Twilight. Are you team 16 year old boy or are you team 90 year old geriatric diamond man? If you enjoyed this one, feel free to leave a like. If you've got something to say, leave a comment. If you're not subscribed, blah, 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 blah. make sure you follow the Planet M Studios Instagram account. Lots of exciting things happening there. Thank you all so much for watching and I will talk to you all soon. Peace out. Bye. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel.